top 10 African tribes that were sold into slavery. Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall take a dive into the history of Africa and take a look at the top 10 African tribes that were taken into slavery. The Atlantic slave trade, also known as the transatlantic slave trade or Euro-American slave trade, involved the transportation by slave traders of enslaved people, mainly to the Americas. The slave trade regularly used the triangular trade route and its middle passage and existed from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Except for the Portuguese, European slave traders generally did not participate in the raids because life expectancy for Europeans in Sub-Saharan Africa were less than one year during the period of the slave trade, which was prior to the development of quinine as a treatment for malaria. The Portuguese in the 16th century were the first to engage in the transatlantic slave trade. In 1526, they completed the first transatlantic slave voyage to Brazil, and other Europeans soon followed. The major Atlantic slave trading nations ordered by trade volume were the Portuguese, the British, the Spanish, the French, the Dutch, and the Danish. Several had established outposts on the African coast where they purchased slaves from local African leaders. Current estimates are that about 12 to 12.8 million Africans were shipped across the Atlantic over a span of 400 years. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. The vast majority of those who were enslaved and transported in the transatlantic slave trade were people from Central and West Africa, who had been sold by other West Africans or by half-European merchant princes to Western European slave traders, with a small number being captured directly by the slave traders in coastal raids, who brought them to the Americas. In amongst this West and Central Africans sold into slavery, some tribes were more affected than others. And in this video, we will identify, highlight, and remember the top 10 tribes who suffered this tragic and disheartening times in history. In no particular order, of course. Number 10. The Mande Tribe Mande is a family of ethnic groups in Western Africa who speak any of the many related Mande languages of the region. Various Mande groups are found in Benin, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. The Mandinka and the Malinke people, two western branches of the Mande, are credited with the founding of the largest ancient West African empires. It is difficult to pick one Mande-speaking group because there are so many and dispersed throughout many countries in West Africa. But the most dominant of the Mande people is the Malinke or Mandinka, who built the greatest and one of the largest empires in West Africa. They influenced many other tribes culturally and linguistically, raiding the coastlines to mix with them, causing many other tribes to have Mande ancestry. The Mande people were so popular and prominent that the word Mandingo was created to refer to a strong black man with many attributes. They built great structures with stones and created elaborate empires along the coast after raiding them, which all got caught up in the transatlantic slave trade. Number 9. The Fon Tribe The Fon people are a major African ethnic and linguistic group mostly found in Benin, southwest Nigeria and Togo. The history of the Fon people is linked to the Dahomey Kingdom, a well-organized kingdom by the 17th century but one that shared more ancient roots with the Aja people. They were noted by the early 19th century European traders for their Dahomey Amazons which empowered their women to serve in the military, who decades later fought the French colonial forces in 1890. Over 3,000 women were trained and served as regular warriors to protect the fun. It expanded its reach to the female warriors in Black Panther, who are said to be inspired by the Dahomey Amazons. Cities built by the fun include Abomi and Dahomey, which the Europeans referred to as the Slave Coast. The Kingdom of the Homi raided for slaves and sold their captives into transatlantic slavery. The competition for captive slaves and government revenues among the African kingdoms escalated the mutual justification and pressure. The Fon people were both victims and also victimized other ethnic groups. Number 8. The Chamba Tribe The Chamba people are a significant ethnic group in northeastern Nigeria located between present-day Nigeria and Cameroon. In Cameroon, the successors of Leko and Chamba speakers are divided into several states, Bali Nyonga, Bali Kumbat, Bali Gam, Bali Gangsen, and Bali Gashu. 
The Chamba people identify through their own language, beliefs, culture, and art. They speak two distantly related languages. Chamba Leko of the Leko Nimbari languages and the Chamba Daka of the Dakoid languages, both of which are a Niger Congo language. The Chamba people suffered incisive slavery in the hands of the Balikumba Jihad in the 18th and 19th century. It got so bad that they migrated to the mountains, organized themselves, and started attacking trade caravans. Number 7. The Wolof Tribe The Wolof people are a West African ethnic group found in the northwestern Senegal, the Gambia, and the southwestern coastal Mauritania. Slavery has been part of the Wolof people since their earliest known history. In the pre-colonial era, slaves were either born or acquired through purchase or capture. The Portuguese had begun purchasing slaves from Senegambia ports and caravan traders coming through the Wolof people lands before the 18th century. A major source of slaves sold by the wall of elites and of wall of slaves were the war captives taken during the wars between the ethnic groups in West Africa. Slave raiding just to obtain slaves for sale were another significant source of slaves in wall of territories. The transatlantic demand for slaves in British, French, Dutch and Portuguese colonies as well as American plantations along with lucrative prices for slaves increased the economic incentive to scale up the violence, as well as the sale of slaves from the social strata within the wall of society. The slavery system was abolished in wall of lands, but however, the social distinctions between the freeborn and the slaves remained strong during the colonial rule and even after the two nations gained their independence from the colonial rule. Number 6. The Abron Tribe The Abron also called the Bono or Brang, is one of the largest ethnic groups of the Akan tribe and matrilineal people. Bono people speak the Bono Twi of Akan language. Twi language, thus the dialect of the Bono is a derivative of a Bono king, Nana Twi. In the late 15th century, the Bono people founded the Giaman kingdom as an extension of Bono state in what is now Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. The Abon people were found in Ivory Coast, Ghana and Burkina Faso. They are part of a larger Akan ethnic and linguistic group and are part of the Bono tribe. They are believed to have migrated to the eastern from the northern region of the Sahel. They were in the center of the Gold Coast slavery activity and many were caught up in it. Because a large population of the Aban people were taken, they were given a specific name in Jamaica, the Coromantes. Number 5. The Fulani tribe the Fulani people are among the largest ethnic groups in the Sahel and West Africa. The Fulani tribe is spread across Africa and most concentrated in countries such as Burkina Faso, Niger, Senegal, Guinea, Mali, Nigeria, Sudan, and Cameroon. These are just regions where they are highly considered. It is highly debated, but most conclusions refer to the north as their origin. They are probably one of the original occupants of the north of Africa due to the evidence of painting scholars assumed to have been drawn by them going back to 6000 BC in Nigeria. They had been very well known throughout ancient history and converted to Islam very early on in history. The Fulani were amongst the first slave raiders and sold many slaves due to the jihads and rights they organized. As much as they were the primary slave raiders, they themselves were constantly enslaved. Because they're one of the biggest tribes in Africa, it makes sense that they got traded as well. Number 4. The Igbo Tribe The Igbo people are an ethnic group native to the present-day South Central and Southeastern Nigeria and also Equatorial Guinea. There has been much speculation about the origins of the Igbo people, as it is known where exactly they came from. The Igbo people are one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa and have been in Africa for thousands of years and are heavily present in Nigeria. Before British colonial rule in the 20th century, the Igbo were a politically fragmented group with a number of centralized chiefdoms such as the Nri, Aro Confederacy, Akbor, and Onitsha. The Igbo people got entangled into slave trade because of the Aro Confederacy, who were traders of slaves and palm oil. As a result, the Aro Confederacy migrated into the Igbo land, captured an enslaved Igbo, and finally selling them to Europeans. The slaves taken from the Biafra were mostly Igbo, and the slaves taken into slavery from the Biafra accounted for 13% of the total slaves sold to slave masters in total. Number 3. The Yoruba Tribe The Yoruba people are an ethnic group that inhabits Western Africa, mainly Nigeria, Benin, Togo, and part of Ghana. 
The Yoruba constitute 42 million people within Nigeria and around 47 million worldwide. The vast majority of this population is from Nigeria, where the Yoruba make up 21% of the country's population, making them one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa, just like the Fulani tribe. The Yoruba are one of the most recognizable group of Africans. As far back as the 11th century, they were the dominant tribes in Nigeria, and their origin can be placed around the Oyo Empire. The Oyo Empire under its Oba, known as the Alafin of Oyo, was active in the African slave trade during the 18th century. The Yoruba often demanded slaves as a form of tribute of subject populations, who in turn sometimes made war on other people to capture the required slaves. Part of the slaves sold by the Oyo Empire entered the Atlantic slave trade, and that is how the Yoruba people became both victims and victimized in the transatlantic slave trade. Number 2. Dumbundu The Ambundu or Mbundu are a Bantu people living in Angola's northwest, north of the river Kwanza. The Ambundu speak Kimbundu and mostly also the official language of the country, Portuguese. They are the second biggest ethnic group in the country and make up 25% of the total population of Angola. According to the Atlas of the Slave Trade, most of its victims sold came from the Congo and Angola. They were mostly taken to Brazil, especially those from Angola. The Mbundu tribe had many states which were part of the Congo Empire. Given the high demand for slaves, the Congo raided many Mbundu tribes enslaving them and subsequently trading them off to the Portuguese. The presence of the Mbundu in Brazil was so high that they began to influence the culture of Brazil. Some of the Mbundu captives were martial arts warriors who brought these traditions to Brazil and it was named Golo, which later became one of Brazil's biggest martial arts cultures, Capoeira. Number 1. The Bakongo Tribe The Bakongo people are a Bantu people living along the Atlantic coast of Central Africa, found in the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Angola. Just like the Mandinka people, they created one of the most prominent empires in Africa known as the Congo Empire. Due to Portuguese intrusion, the Bakongo people got caught up in the Atlantic slave trade. Initially, the Congo people exchanged ivory and copper objects they made with luxury goods of Portuguese, but after 1500, the Portuguese instead demanded slaves in exchange, causing major social disorder among the Congo people, and the Congo king Afonso I wrote letters to the king of Portugal protesting this practice, but he succumbed to the demand. The Portuguese operators approached the traders at the borders of the Congo Kingdom, such as the Malebo Pool, and offered luxury goods in exchange for captured slaves. The Congo people and the neighboring ethnic groups retaliated with violence and attacks, like the Jaga invasion of 1568 which swept across the Congo lands, burned the Portuguese churches and attacked its capital, nearly ending the Kingdom of Congo. The Portuguese brought in military and defeated the fighters causing a flood of captives, who became slaves attracting Europeans to the Congo Empire by 1570s, leading to dramatic increase in slave trade. The Kingdom of Congo and its people ended their cooperation in the 1660s. In 1665, the Portuguese army invaded the kingdom, killed the Congo king, disbanded his army and installed a friendly replacement in his place. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the top 10 African tribes that were taken into slavery. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.